Okay, everybody, here's the video that I was talking about in the previous video about all the parts for the slash, the track slash, my bad. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to run this idea by you guys. Um, I got to lean over and shit so I can see. Um, me and another friend, JDPASL, JD Passel. He has, a, he has a channel, and we were thinking about, we've been talking about this for like a, a week or two, buying the same Tamiya kit and uh, building it at the exact same time, posting it on both our channels, and then at the end, uh, you know, having different results because we're different people, obviously, and letting the subscribers uh, do like a contest where you guys vote for which one you like the best. I'm sure they'll both come out great, but um, that was just one of my ideas I've been kicking around about doing. And even other people could, um, you know, get the same thing. Like, I think we might be doing the lunchbox first or like the grasshopper or something that's in like a $100 range, you know, just to see how things go. But anyways, on to the next one. Uh, I got in the mail today cover up my address for all you stalkers out there <laughs> um from my boy geo stealth r1 he sent me a package i think he's a gang guys look at he started doing some graffiti type junk no, i'm just playing i know he's a good dude but um let's open this up Ooh. and this is what i actually won this from him uh, down here. I won this from him in a uh, raffle he was doing. It's a um, it's a lipo bag, which I didn't have a lipo bag, and you know they come in handy. So it was really cool that I won this lipo bag from him. I actually got a lipo right here, brand new lipo. And when I was taking out the package, I dropped it one time, and I got it wrapped up with clear gorilla tape, but. Look how this thing's like fat. It's puffy. It needs to go on a diet. But I guess they're going to send me a new one. Uh, they wanted me to send that one back in the mail. And I was like, you know, I knew it still kind of worked. And I was like, uh, you know, are you guys going to be responsible if I send it back and it causes a fire in the post office? Blah, blah, blah. So I think I scared them where they're like, well, we'll just send you a new one. So anyways, okay, on to this. Uh, track slash. So try to get the biggest stuff out of the way first. Now, here is the body that I went with. Um, it's going to be upside down, but you can see it. It's the Proline uh, Flowtech. It's actually the uh, Ford Raptor uh, Clear Body Pro 2. Um, the part number in that you can push pause and flip your thing around but that's that so it's going to need to be painted and all that stuff um let's see next i will take out of this bag i i haven't even went through this stuff guys i just been uh throwing it all in this box and in bags so we have the lcg chassis there's the part number 5830 i know a bunch of you guys are gonna be like oh you know dye that chassis black you know and i might i might dye the chassis black so there's that um this just came the other day uh we got the hot racing sway bar kit which is pretty cool so i gotta figure out how to put them i never put those on before and from STRC, we have the rear and front aluminum shock tower. And I hear a battery going off in there, so someone might come out and tell me my battery's done. Um, I also got from Hot Racing the sealed aluminum differential case. There's the part number and all that. All right. Uh, what else we got here? 
Oh, I got this battery for uh, for my hobby shop. It's a 5,000 milliamp 30C reaction lipo. Um, 2S. I heard it. You heard it? Yep. I'll be in a minute. Um, what else we got here? Is this anything? Okay, then we got from Fast Eddie's ball bearing kits for the slabs. There's the parts. Um, what else we got in here? Oh, we got some uh, spacers. I, I don't know, washers, how you would, whatever you want to call them, but that's the part number right there. I know I had, I had bought them when I bought those bearings. Um, of course, I got the Fly Sky receiver for it. Um, it's a battery foam. Got some two wrenches. What else did we buy? Oh, we got some tires from Proline. We got a set of the whole shots. There's the part number on that. That's what they look like. They're tread. But I got them. Of course, I got the front and back those. Put to the side. Um, and from, I believe this is DE Racing, the Trinidad short course truck wheels. You can check out the part number right there. You got those, so that'll look sweet. Black with the black on black. Oh, and then I got, I, I had the blue anodized ones, but they didn't have them, so I just ended up getting these silver um, wheel nuts with the, the flange on it, which will look cool because I have the silver shock towers, black and silver theme kind of going on if I get rid of that blue other set of wheels. Actually, these ones, for the slash, you have to order the right ones. You can't just get uh, four of the same. Like, if you see this one, it says the front, so you can look at that and part number. And then from the offset, it's different in the rear. So here's the back ones. So there's that part number there. And I think we're about done with this bag. What's in this box here? Here's a box. Oh. Lots of stuff. Okay, let's get through this. Then I got the stainless steel screw kit here, guys. So I can put her together with some stainless steel, even though it's an indoor track and it won't get uh, wet. Then I got the, the Ghoul RC uh, motor and ESC brushless. It's a 3,800 kV, 60 amp. But you know what? I'm probably not going to use this one because I did acquire. That's for Geo. I acquired. Oh, shit. Uh, the VXL3 and also the Valenium motor. So I'll probably be using that and put this back in the rustler or something I can find a home for it I'm sure uh, I believe these shocks were atomic RC um, which I got the silver and black so hopefully they're decent they feel decent um, for the transmission case so I got the aluminum motor plate from hot racing there's part number to that. It looks pretty. I like. I like the way it looks. It looks good. Um, okay, that's uh, that with that box. We got another box. I'm trying to sell Pringles, y'all. <laughs> oh, okay. We have the RPM A arms, front and rear blue 
then um, I have the hot racing caster box for it. Also, we have the aluminum steering bell cranks from Hot Racing. And also, we have the back rear knuckles uh, with 1.5 degree toe from Hot Racing. And we have the uh, aluminum front knuckle for the slash from Hot Racing. Comes with the bearings too. Then I ordered um, some 10,000 uh, differential weight for the differential. So we got that. And that's it. So that's what I got. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys, guys have, uh, or girls, guys and girls, have ever tried any of these products what you think of them if i wasted my money or if i did good and got something worth getting um this should be a fun build i will keep track of it this all this right here is track slash and then what we have left over i will make the monster slash so i will be keeping both those builds up and updates and on the udr um, I got the right, uh, the right side A arm and I needed the left and my hobby shop's closed today. So I got to go tomorrow and pick up the right one. So that was a D to D moment for me. So, um, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments about the, the Tamiya build off. Also, if you guys would be interested in watching that or participating in it, uh, let me know and we'll work something out. All right, fellas, later.